Hi there. Franklin Elementary School principal Irene Gonzalez didn't get to where she is without some hard work. Just learning about college took a fair amount of determination. It wasn't something that we talked a lot about in my own household, but at the dinner table of friends' house, they would talk about going to college and what do you want to be when you grow up. Considering her own future, she quickly learned she'd have to get help navigating the financial aid and college applications process. She asked her high school counselor for guidance. And he's like, Irene, you know, you have a great job washing dishes. And I said, I actually love my job washing dishes. I said, but I want to go to college. And he says, oh, well, college wasn't made for people like you. She was devastated. Instead of finding help, she'd found someone who'd already decided what her future would be. Gonzalez tells the story to her students as a warning about dream breakers and to encourage them to seek out dream makers. I view myself as a dream maker. And I, when I talk to kids, I talk to them about them also doing that for a little brother or a sister or a friend. Gonzalez says her formative experiences results her to inspire all students to dream big and reach high. Bottom line is that we believe in every single child and we believe that every single child can accomplish great things. At Ferris High School, Sammy Anderson tells how she arrived at where she is today. Like Gonzalez, it wasn't an easy road. Anderson was doing pretty well as a freshman and sophomore, staying off the radar until she started to slide. She soon decided school just wasn't for her. I became a, a Ferris dropout and a statistic. She floundered for a time, but didn't give up, persevering and returned to graduate from high school, then college, then back to Ferris, where she's now an assistant principal. The experience taught her that failure isn't the end and that all students need to feel like they belong. It's easy to get lost. It's easy to be me who had a great GPA, honors AP classes, I'm not on the radar. And, um, and so I, I guess that's my perspective is that I'm, I want to meet the needs of all of my students in supporting their goals after high school, not let anybody get lost. She's invited colleges and universities into the school, helped students complete a fifth year plan, and even directed surveys to find out more about students as individuals. I need to find out and to see the face behind the statistic because I was a statistic. Anderson recently helped establish a college and career day. High schools and middle schools across the district referred to it as T24 Day, inviting speakers in to talk about the variety of post-secondary options. Our goal today is to have you learn about what's the difference between technical college, a two-year college, and a four-year college. And the next step isn't, it's, it's really not optional. It's just like moving from middle school to high school. We're moving from high school to post-secondary learning. And that, she and others say, is what T24 is all about. It's a personalized, deliberate exercise in discovering what each student needs to do to get to that next step. We can all wrap ourselves around that goal because we know that everybody deserves and belongs in some post-secondary path. Gonzalez says T24 is a concept that starts at the elementary level with things like visits to college campuses and simply talking about the next steps after high school. And talking to kids constantly about going after their dreams, making plans, setting goals, and letting them know that they can do those things, but how important it is that they study and that they work hard and that they partner with their teachers in their learning. Anderson and Gonzalez aren't alone among SPS educators. In schools across the district, teachers of all kinds are drawing from their own histories. They're using their unique experiences to inspire students to move to, through, and past high school towards T24 futures of their own. But you get out of life what you put into it, that life is not how little can I get away with, but how much can I push myself. Just make it a norm so that being college ready, being college bound, going into a career versus a job is just what we do here. If four year was really the only option for me, I would have been lost for a long time. Every single day that I saw her, I just reminded her, you can do this. How can I support you? How can I help you? When it's part of your routine, when you're constantly talking about um, how to be and how to treat people and how to work hard, um, it just becomes who they are. And so then they won't have to relearn that when they get older. They'll just, it'll just be, um, you know, as scholars and um, just as people of integrity will just be what they're about.